Hey guys and welcome back. So in this one I kind of wanted to go over, uh, got this 94 GMC. Um, I think you guys saw it in a couple of the previous previous videos. We had a heater issue and then, anyway, um, ugly, but when I got it, it ran really good. Um, no issues at all. And I don't remember when I did the video about the heating problem, but after that, it started, uh, it still runs fine, but you have to let it warm up, like, forever. Um, and the check engine light came on. Now, it was doing that before, but it would come on and then go back off. Like, there were no issues. But now, when it's cold, it, it cuts back and it won't take the gas, and it's just, it's horrible. Um, but if you let it sit and run for 10 or 12 minutes, it's fine. Um... And it does that every time. It doesn't matter if you drive it 50 miles, you can shut it off, go in the store and come back out and it runs bad. So I don't know, I don't know if when I took the thermostat housing off, if I messed something up, I don't know. But anyway, these trucks have the OBD1 system in them. And um, they, make, they make readers, but basically all they are is what I'm about to show you. They short out the two pins in the reader um, you can buy one, but it's, I mean, they're 25, 30, 40, 50 dollars, depending on what you get. And they all kind of do the same thing. Um, that check engine light on the dash that you just saw, that's actually how you read the code. So in this one, I kind of wanted to, you know, it, it was confusing to me because I, I read about how to do it, but you know, then when you see it, it's something completely different. But anyway, in this one, I kind of wanted to go through it step by step. Um, and I'll show you how to short it out. All you need is a paper clip. And, uh, you know, once you get that done, once you short it out, you'll switch the truck on. And again, I'm going to go through this and show you, but you'll switch the truck on and you'll count the number of times that your, your service engine light flashes. So basically, um, the first code that you're going to get on any of them, if I'm not mistaken, is a 12. So that light's going to flash once and then you're going to get a break and then it's going to flash twice. So you would write down one, two, which is 12 that's your first code but i think that's just a default in the system so that you know that that it's working and that's where you're starting so your first code will be 12 and it'll flash three times it'll do that it'll do the one the break and then the one two to give you the 12 and it'll do that three times once it does that three times it will move on to the next code that's in the in the computer whatever that may be but it will give you that code and it'll do that three times. It will then move on to the next code and the next code and so on. So if you have seven codes, it's gonna go through all seven and then when it goes through the seven, it's gonna go back to the 12 code, the initial code. It will go back to the 12 and it will do that three times. And if you don't stop, it will go back through the series of codes. Um, so let me uh, let me get the camera set up. I'll show you how to, to short out the port um if and I, again i'm going to show you but if you're looking at it the the top right the the two pins in the in the top right um you want to short those two out together and uh then you'll put your key in and turn it on and watch your light but again let me get the camera set up and i'll actually show it to you and we'll, we'll go through it together all right guys so here's the uh here's the obd1 port and it's right under the edge of the dash i'll show you Here's the tool we're gonna to be using, just a, a bent, well straightened out and then bent paper clip. Um, these top two ports right here, one and two. So, I have to forgive the shaky camera, it's kinda of hard to do with one hand. I'll do the best I can here. I know you didn't see that, but anyway, it's pretty self-explanatory. So, you'll cross those up. Let me back back out here a little bit so you can see what we got going on. See, they're just laid in, one and two. Right. Let me get back up here to the dash and uh, we'll walk through the, the codes. All right, guys, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you want to make sure when you're when you're jumping those two posts that 
the ignition is turned off. So once you get that done, you put the key in and switch it to on. Don't crank it, just switch it to on and watch your light. Okay. So one, one, two. Then a break. One, one, two. One, one, two. Now it should start with the codes. One, one, two, three, four, five. So that's one five. Code is fifteen. One, one, two, three, four, five. And it should do that one more time. And now it's going to take you to your next code. One, one, two. Okay, so that's the normal code. So apparently the only code in the truck is a 15. Now, I have no idea what that is. I'm sure there are some of you Chevrolet guys out there that know all the codes right off the top of your head. I don't. I did, however, look them up earlier. So, let me see. Uh, 15 and also at the end of this video I'm going to I'm gonna post all these codes for you um, 15 is coolant sensor circuit low or open so apparently I did damage something when I was putting the thermostat in um, I noticed there's a what I assumed was the coolant temperature sensor um, and it looked like it was kinda old and rough so anyway <clears throat> that makes sense, but uh, like I say, I know it's a short video, but you know I needed to do this, and I had to look everything up and figure it out. I've got a I've got a pretty decent you know code reader that's OBD2, but and I I just came out here with it thinking I could plug it into this, and obviously you can't. They also make converters that say that it'll go from that OBD2 to this, which is an OBD1. Uh, I spent about 30 minutes reading reviews on them and everybody said the same thing that they do not work on this particular truck um, I don't know about in general But uh, this truck they said it was an absolute waste of money not to buy it that it, it wouldn't hook up so um, And and this is again. This is just as easy. So um, But anyway guys, I hope you uh, I hope it was helpful. I hope you got something out of it and like I said, don't go anywhere because at the end here I'm going to post the entire list um, of possible codes. So anyway, guys, I will see you on the next one. Have a good day. All right, guys. So it occurred to me that turned out to be the coolant temperature sensor, by the way. much better the lights out it, it occurred to me off camera as I was doing this that uh, it would probably also be helpful if you knew how to reset the codes and turn the light off so all you have to do is uh, disconnect the negative post on the battery for about 30 seconds I think it is what I did is before I got started changing out the sensor I just unhooked the battery and then when I got done I plugged it back in but yeah it runs a ton better and uh that was the problem the whole time the the top was actually broken off of it and whoever had the truck before me uh decided that he would zip tie it down i i i don't know it, I, whatever but anyway the whole top was broke off of it so i don't even think the switch was bad i think it probably just wasn't making a good connection but anyway guys uh again appreciate it and give me just a second and I will get that list up that runs through all the codes thanks guys see you on the next one